we are here at the uh, Ice Hot Springs. It's uh, a cool 35 degrees here today. So uh, yeah, I actually just came to have a look at Ice and have a little lunch here. So we did come and stop here for a little bit of a picnic lunch. It's our picnic lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well done, Beautiful swimming pool, nice and clean. You can relax here in the pool, soaking up the spring water. It's a beautiful resort here, beautiful rooms, beautiful restaurant, and you can come and enjoy all the fresh spring water. You can see it's very beautiful, nestled here in between the mountains. Absolutely beautiful location, beautiful rooms, very relaxing atmosphere. The name I Ice is derived from the Nama language, meaning very hot or burning water. The hot springs are a result of groundwater being heated in the Earth's crust and rising to the surface through passages created by deep fault systems in the canyon. So I just want to show you where the water for the spring comes from. Yeah, it's the, it just comes from here at a very cool 65 degrees Celsius. This water then gets fed into the swimming pools in the resort, also the outdoor swimming pool. And uh, behind by the reeds, that is the Fish River. Yeah, the Ice Resort is the end of the Fish River Canyon hike. So, uh, yeah, the hikers will be taking their five-day hike and then ending up here at the Fish River. We departed to our accommodation at the Canyon Roadhouse next, who also provided a very exciting excursion for the next morning. Early the next morning, we went on a guided excursion on an open game drive vehicle to the Fish River Canyon, one of the largest canyons in the world and one of the most visited attractions in Namibia. It is located in the southern part of the country. This natural wonder is a must-visit destination for any traveler, offering breathtaking views, challenging hikes and unique landscapes. The canyon is 161 kilometers long, 27 kilometers wide and up to 550 meters deep. It stretches from Seeheim to I Ice, where the Fish River flows into the Orange River, marking the border with South Africa. The canyon offers multiple viewpoints, including the main viewpoint Hikers Point and Sulphur Springs viewpoint. Each viewpoint provides unique and majestic panoramas. The Fish River Canyon was formed over millions of years ago through a combination of geological processes. The canyon first began to take shape around 650 million years ago when a vast graben, which is a lowered area, formed along all tectonic faults creating the broad ancient valley of the Fish River. During the Karoo Ice Age, approximately 350 million years ago, glaciers further deepened the valley. The breakup of Gondwana supercontinent about 120 million years ago led to the uplift of the African continent, increasing the gradient of the Fish River. This allowed the river to erode even deeper into the rock forming the current canyon. These processes, spanning over a billion years ago, have sculpted the Fish River Canyon into its current form, making it one of the most impressive geological formations in Africa. The Fish River Canyon boasts also one of the most famous hiking trails in Southern Africa. This 90 kilometers or 80 kilometers if you take shortcuts Self-guided hike is one of the most popular and strenuous tracks in Southern Africa. It is open from May 1st to the September the 15th and can be completed in 5 to 7 days. 
Hikers must pre-book through Namibia Wildlife Resorts, up to a year in advance. A doctor's letter confirming fitness is required, and hikers must be in a group of 3 to 20 people. The hike costs approximately $18 per person, plus entrance fees and shuttle costs. Hikers need to be self-sufficient, carrying all food, sleeping equipment and clothes. Water and firewood are available along the river. The trail involves multiple river crossings and water shoes are essential. The best time to visit is during the dry season from May to September when the hiking trail is open. There are only two emergency exits from a canyon. One 16 km into the hike near Sulphur Springs and another after 50 km. It is crucial to carry a GPS and map, which can be purchased at Hobas and IIs. Temperatures can drop to zero in midwinter, so a warm sleeping bag is essential. The sun sets early in the canyon, so plan accordingly. The Fish River Canyon is approximately 640 km from Ventuk and 420 km from Luderitz. The road to the canyon involves a mix of paved and gravel roads. While a car with ground clearance is recommended, it is possible to reach the viewpoint with a standard vehicle, though the last stretch from Hobas to the viewpoint can be rough. The journey to the canyon itself is like a safari, with opportunities to see ostriches, zebras, springbok and other wildlife. The canyon's landscape is dramatic, featuring immense gorges, dolerites and quartz vein cliffs. The Nama people attribute the creation of the canyon to their serpent god, adding a rich cultural layer to this natural wonder. The nearest accommodation and campsite is at Hobas Rest Camp. It also serves as the entrance to the canyon and the start of the Fish River hiking trail. It is advisable to book in advance, especially during the peak season. The campsite provides basic amenities, including restrooms and picnic areas with a swimming pool. Cars can be parked for free at either IIS camp or Hobas campsites for hikers doing the hiking trail. The Fish River Canyon is a unique and awe-inspiring destination that offers a blend of natural beauty, challenging hikes and cultural significance. Whether you're a seasoned hiker or just looking for breathtaking views, this canyon is a must visit in Namibia. Always plan ahead, prepare for the hike and enjoy the unimaginable natural experience that the Fish River Canyon has to offer. After our early morning wake up and visit to the canyon, we headed back to our accommodation at the Canyon Roadhouse before getting ready for another long day of dirt riding. I really hope you liked this video about IIS and the Fish River Canyon in Namibia. I will have a short review about the Canyon Roadhouse and next we will be traveling further north to the Red Dunes of Namibia. Stay tuned by clicking the subscribe button and like if you liked my videos and want to see more of them. Thank you for watching, see you next time.